It's when she came. What? What? Just. I just can't speak properly. So yeah, that's amazing. Hello my beautiful babes, what is up? It's Brandy. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. In today's video, I will be doing another Halloween look tutorial. Today, I decided to do something a little bit different and do a look inspired slash a recreation from a music video, which is Secrets by Becky G. It's the part where she is completely covered in ladybugs. It's creepy, but it's really beautiful at the same time. So that's the look that we're going for, and that's what we're going to be trying to recreate and is the inspiration but uh yeah so let's just get right into today's video all right so before we get into the makeup i just want to show you guys quickly what i am talking about if you guys haven't seen the music video i'll definitely leave that down below in the description box but i'm just going to show you like quick two photos this is it it's just absolutely so beautiful i love becky g so so much and then i'm just gonna quickly as i can get the photo of her like that's not really that close but you guys get the gist of it like it's just absolutely so beautiful i love this look so so much now obviously <laughs> i'm not wearing a dress i don't have the same hair same jewelry or anything like that I wanted to put like my own twist on it so I am just wearing this cute one piece from Fashion Nova and then this cute necklace as well and then my hair just swooped to the side I just pinned it back and then these earrings I can't even tell you where I got them from I have earrings from everywhere but <laughs> Anyway, these two pieces I will definitely have linked down below in the description box, but yeah, let's just get into the makeup. <laughs> Alright, so the first palette I'm going to dip into is my James Charles palette, and I'm going to take this shade over here called Canvas, and I'm just going to take my M335, and I'm going to use this to set my eyelids. Now, I'm also going to be dipping into a new palette. This is also going to be kind of like a first impressions. I have tried this brand out before. I tried their Never Ending Lights palette when I did my, what look was it? The extraterrestrial look. So if you guys haven't seen that video, I'll definitely leave that down below in the description box as well. But this is another palette from them. This is the Moira. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. But it's the Moira Glow and Gleam. This palette is specifically inspired by butterflies. It is absolutely beautiful. As I said before, I have not yet played with it, but I just love the formula from the first palette. So I have really high expectations. This is vegan and cruelty free and this palette is just screaming nudes and is everything that I am looking for. So we're going to be using this palette for the most part. Okay, so the first shade I'm going to dip into is this one right over here called Light. And I'm just going to apply that on my blinged brushes. It is the E11. And I'm just going to apply this all over the crease. I'm just going to build up the color a little bit more and I'm also going to kind of wing it out a little bit. Take it out a little bit like that. So the next shade I'm going to dip into is this one on the bottom right hand corner which is called Reflect. Applying that on my E13 brush, I'm then just going to put this all over my lid. I'm 
Then I'm going to take the shade Sunlight, applying that on my E15 brush, and I'm going to place this in the upper portion of my crease just to build some dimension. And then, of course, I'm just slowly going to take it out. Just like that. I'm just going to take a little bit more of that shade. Slowly build it. I don't want it too, too intense. I'm going to go back in with my E11 brush and I'm just going to go back and forth making sure everything is blended together. I'm going to dip back into my James Charles palette and I'm going to take the shade 10% off. Using that E15 that we used before, just applying a little bit on the brush. I'm just going to place this in my crease. And then of course, I'm just going to wing it out a little bit. Just like that. That was... A lot more intense than <laughs> I kind of wanted but it's all right it is okay I'm just gonna go back in with that E11 I'm gonna go back and forth and blend it out next I'm gonna take the shade no beans Applying that on my E15 brush, only a little bit, and again, just slowly adding a little bit more dimension. Very, very little to the upper portion of the crease. Again, just swinging it out. Using that E11 and blending it out. Um, so I'm going to be taking the shade Twinkle and I'm going to be grabbing that on my M508 and I'm going to use this and put this all over the top of my lash line I'm going to keep it as close to my lash line as possible now I'm going to go in with my essence again I don't know how to pronounce this the Kajal, Kajal, I don't know. It's just a black liner pencil. And I'm just going to do my tight line with this. With this. I can't speak at all today. But yeah. I'm just going to do this real quick. So now I'm going to dip into my James Charles palette and I'm going to take the shade Spooky. Applying that on my M213 and I'm kind of just going to start off with, hmm, how do I want to do this? I'm going to start with the inner portion of my eye very little, just like that. Very, very little. And then I'm going to go back in with that M508 
And I'm just going to make sure that those two shades blend together really nicely. We're kind of going all over the place, which I normally don't do, but like, I don't know, it's going to the flow for me, but I don't know, probably when I'm editing, it's probably going to seem like it's all over the place, but anyway. Um, I'm going to take some of the shade Spooky using that M213, and I'm just going to place that under my lash line. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a winged liner and I'm going to take my Wet n Wild Mega Liner in the shade black and I'm just going to do the tail and I'm not the best at doing a winged liner so no judging. <laughs> ah, I'm shaking. I'm so nervous. Uh, this is as best as I can get the wings to match. So, with that being said, we are just going to move on. I'm going to go back into the shade Spooky with that M213. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing that we did with the inner corner. And what we're going to do is we're just going to fade. Woo! We're just going to fade that liner in with that other shade. <laughs> I am so sorry, guys. This, like, pinkish red color right here. We are just going to blend it out. That's what we're going to do. And again, just going back and forth, building that shade so it's nice and deep. And then I'm also going to take the shade Spooky and go over that liner. And then as we did before, taking the M. 508 and making sure it fades nicely together. So now I'm going to go back into the shade Twinkle. That is the name of it. <laughs> Could remember of it. Couldn't remember of it. Couldn't remember it for the life of me before, but now I have it right in front of me. Anyway, I'm just going to dip back into that a little bit, and I'm just going to reinforce that color up on top of the lash line some more. Now I'm going to take my JS13 brush and I'm still going to dip into the shade Twinkle. And I'm going to take this underneath my lash line where we put the shade Spooky. And I'm going to take this all the way to the wing. Then, I'm going to take it at- what? I'm going to- bleh. I'm going to take a clean- <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. I'm going to take a clean JS13 brush. And I am just going to do the edges of Twinkle <laughs> to help fade it in, especially towards the edge of the tail, so it fades in nicely. So really bold right over here and then fade it towards the tail, just like 
that. I hope you guys can tell. And then I'm just going to take it a little bit over here as well because over here is just a little bit intense. A little bit too intense. To highlight the inner corner of my eyes and my brow bone, I'm going to be using the Revlon Skin Lights. Oh, the name is gone. No, it's not. It is the Revlon Skin Lights Prismatic Highlighter. It is in the shade Twilight Gleam. It is absolutely so beautiful. I'm wearing it as a highlighter today, so I decided why not just keep it like cohesive. So I'm just going to apply that on my E16 brush and I'm just going to start off by doing my brow bone first. Alright, this doesn't have a mirror. <laughs> oh gosh. It's really beautiful though. And then my inner corner. Just a little bit. I say a little bit and then I just like put like a whole bunch there. <laughs> well, I personally like a lot. And then to finish off the eyes, I'm going to be grabbing my L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. So for my lips, I'm going to be grabbing my Wet n Wild Mega Labs Liquid Cat Suit High Shine Lipstick in the shade. 969A, which is called Wine is the Answer. You know what's really funny? I was like, oh my gosh, these two look exactly the same. And they are. Apparently, I bought them twice. <laughs> and I just found out. <laughs> so, this is what we're looking like so far with the look. Now, normally, I would use body paint for this look. However, I had this feeling, I was like, you know what, let me go on Amazon and let me just Google little ladybugs and see what I find. And I found these little ladybugs for, I don't even know how much they were, maybe four or five bucks, but they're like a hundred of them, I think, but they're like stick-ons. So I don't know how well they'll stick. I don't know for how long they're like for arts and crafts so they could be pretty decent they could be really crappy I have absolutely no idea so for video purposes I decided to use these um but if you're going to be doing like you know a Halloween a long term event then I don't know if I would recommend these at least not yet um so I'll let you know by the end of the video. I got these, like I said, off of Amazon. So if you guys are interested, I'll definitely let you guys... What? I'll definitely link it down below in the description box. Wow. Alright you guys, so this is basically the final look. Now, I could have added a couple of more ladybugs like on my face, but I didn't and that is because these little stick-on ladybugs, <sighs> they're not going to stick on my face while my mouth and face are moving. I know that for a fact. I'm even surprised that this guy is even sticking, especially with the amount of makeup that is on my face so um yeah <laughs> speaking of the little stick on ladybugs i highly recommend them for this look it's so so easy it's not really that time consuming i use majority of them surprisingly if you guys are going to do this for halloween I highly recommend them to be put in your hair like I did and then if you guys want to make the look extra special then I highly recommend I think I said this before um, but I highly recommend you guys like hot gluing them or just gluing them to old clothing or if you guys have money then you know spend the extra money if you guys can and you know just glue them onto your clothing so they can actually 
Wednesday. If you guys have like this much skin showing like I do or if you just have like your hands or you know whatever part of your body that might have some skin showing then I definitely don't recommend these little stick on ladybugs because they will not stay but yeah I love how this look came out so so much although it's definitely different than how it is in the music video it's my take on it and even though it's a little bit different it is still similar vibes and I just love it so so much and it just makes me so happy and I just love this look all together and I am just so proud and I love it so so much but yeah that's basically it for today's video I hope you all enjoyed if you did don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel as well as hitting the notification bell as always every product used today will be linked down below in the description box I love you guys so so much and I'll see you all in the next one bye guys